Welcome back to the Trials Fusion Track Central Spotlight. I am your host, Attack Slug. This is episode 40, which means I've been doing this for about 40 weeks, and that's kind of crazy. Time flies. Anyway, this week, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Usually, I take suggestions for tracks that you guys want to see, but this time, for the first time, I'm just going to click into Friend Tracks and see what people on my friends list have created in this game, uh, considering that my friends list is about 1,300 deep at this point. How many of y'all actually have Trials, and how many of y'all have made tracks in Trials? I know I haven't. I don't have time for that shit, but... I do enjoy playing Trials Tracks, so we're going to play some Trials Tracks here on Sunday, here on Track Central Spotlight, episode 40 or something. Anyway, uh, you may have noticed a new intro, new generic intro, because I have not given... Oh good, the servers are fucked. That's great. That's fantastic. That track's not very good. It was way short. That was the kind of thing that I would do in five minutes. But hey, I got a, I got a platinum for it. Uh, yes, but you, you may have noticed new intro. Only only took me a month into the year to get that shit done. Uh, I will tell you that I am looking forward, looking very much forward to. I I ordered some new lighting for my my uh, st little studio here. Uh, the first upgrade that I've made uh, in quite some time into this you know whole shebang so very excited about new studio lighting coming in uh any day now should be here in the mail i'm not sure exactly exactly when that stuff still kind of we shipped it but it's not here yet kind of a thing so that means that no more me complaining that oh it's you know no more me complaining oh the sun has gone down and therefore my lighting in here for my face cam is shit not that anyone cares about my dumb face but that's how i operate anyway so Oh no, your face cam looks like crap, and and certainly for like the Q and A stuff, you know, I, I do the Q and As, and those usually look like crap because the lighting here is not not great. Because I, I bought a bunch of LED bulbs, and they mostly burned out because they were supposed to last 22 years. And they I think the main problem is that you know I use uh, my cell phone cam on a lot of this shit. I can't afford to get a new camera right now, so or a good camera. Like I could buy a new camera. It's not gonna look you know like I want it to look not gonna look nice so the immediate solution you know what I've what I've been doing obviously is I've been uh, okay yes 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 I've been uh, you know waiting for the appropriate amount of daylight to make these things look all right uh, but if I have some what are called light boxes in this room then I could do it at any time of the day and it should look good in theory, they, they they aren't here yet. I don't know that for sure, but that's the plan. Uh, so look forward to that. Perhaps uh, at some point this week or next week, whenever they happen to get here, I'm looking forward to those. Uh, the first of hope, hopefully many upgrades uh, in 2016. But yes, I also have that new intro, and uh, that you know I'm I am attempting to revamp most of my custom show intros. I obviously got my let's play intro is has has been, has been done for a bit. Um, I've got my, uh, new Cold Boot intro, and if you don't, re if you, if you don't recognize that Cold Boot footage, it is from the game Steel Battalion, uh, for the original Xbox. Um, what else? Uh, I'm not sure when I record this, if I put up a new episode of Because Reasons, but I have a new intro for that. Um, obviously I, I have a new, you know, Perplexing Pixels bonus pixel intro thing. So yes, I am attempting to revamp, I am attempting to brainstorm some new show ideas, and therefore, you know, new little video intros, but I wasn't really, like, Trials and, like, Mario Maker, like, I, I like doing them, but I feel like I've, I'm, 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 I'm making intros for show concepts that I know I'm going to do a lot of, and while granted, I've been doing this one for 40 weeks, I just didn't feel the need to make a show intro for trials or mario maker just yet i mean i might i might get the inspiration uh but a lot of the times especially with things like nintendo uh that's going to be uh problematic with the things that i want to include in any kind of a you know three second show intro is that hey it's nintendo and nintendo are you know pains in the ass with doing youtube stuff which is why my new generic intro 
doesn't actually have any earthbound footage in it. I tried that. I, I tried having the bus leaving Tucson. Uh, I think it was Tucson. I had, you know, because that song is from that bus ride. Uh, and I, I tried having that in there, but it didn't work because they, they immediately flagged it. So uh, I figured out something. Something else. I think it looks all right. Let me know what you think. Uh, I might at some point revamp it additionally this year, but uh, I think for right now, it it conveys you know my name. That's kind of you know the most important part of that stuff. Uh, I think that's the only ones that I re like. There's, there's a couple more. Uh, I need to revamp the RNG slug intro, even though like no one actually watches those shows, but uh, I enjoy doing them so. I'm going to do uh, some of that at some point, uh, but I haven't had time to really get to that because uh, I've been doing like 8,000 other things with my life, uh, and that's been kind of interfering. Trying to get games played, trying to get videos made, uh, stands in the way of brainstorming new 3 second intros that like nobody except me cares about, but hey, it's my channel, so I try to focus on the things that I care about because that's going to be the most compelling way to keep my sanity, I guess. I don't know. If, the, if that makes it any sense to anybody, this is actually pretty hard. This is like actually, I'm four minutes into this. This is actually pretty hard. So, uh, kudos. Like, this was, this was listed as a hard track, not extreme. So, kudos on making this one actually pretty hard. There we go. I'm surprised it's not, like, this is a long, it's a long track. I'm hitting checkpoints, but like, where... Oops. Where is the end? There is no end in sight. So, yeah. New intros, new lighting, 2016. Like, obviously, the big thing is new computer, but that's not quite in the cards just yet. I was hoping... That's some frame rate droppage there. I was hoping that January would be a little more uh, lucrative, and it was not. So, we're, we're now going to move into Feb February leap year. Leap your shit. And hopefully February will be a little bit better and then I can think about, you know, getting a new motherboard, new processor, RAM, like... I feel like I'm gonna do that stuff first because obviously I can put my old video card into, you know, uh... If, if, if everything else is new, I can just, you know, put in my 5850 and then see how it goes from there because certainly Going from a Core 2 Duo to I want to buy an i7, so that would certainly make things uh, on the CPU end, like, hella more powerful, and uh, that might solve at least some of my issues, but obviously, uh, I want to get, you know, an i7, and I want to get an NVIDIA card, and that's a solid fucking wall. What? But yeah, an i7... NVIDIA card, a bunch of RAM, that's kind of the goal, squad goals, uh, that's kind of the goal for what I've been doing, uh, but, you know, that's, like, even just mentally pricing it out in terms of, you know, if you spend 300 on the card, and you spend, like, it's a solid fucking wall, like, what, what? The long checkpoint is a solid wall, I don't understand how supposed to fucking finish this course. Um, pr pricing it out in my head is gonna be about a thousand dollars and uh, obviously anytime you spend a thousand dollars at one time is a bit of a hefty investment considering I'm not making anywhere near that uh, on you the YouTubes is it one of those cases where I actually I need to not be hitting the gas because that might be it I know some of these things like for some reason you go faster and I'm not sure what the um, I'm not sure what the theory behind it is but you you go faster uh, if you're not, uh, hitting the gas, and, yeah, see, like, I didn't hit the gas there, oh, crap, well, there, there's the finish line, so we might as well finish it now, now that we know that that's what the, um, the trick is, slow down here, oh, crap, that was a lucky flip, I'm gonna put that down as luck, and then we hold back, and make that jumps like holding the gas there doesn't work. You you have to you have to not hold the gas there. That's one of those things that they teach you when you're doing like the, the BMX tracks is that you need to not you hold the gas or the hold down the fucking pedal. Anyway, that was a hard track. That felt a little higher than a hard track, but 
What do I know? 39 faults. So we'll do a few more here in the low end. Uh, getting some exercise from SGNHH. I've never actually seen him online, but then again, whenever I sign online, there are like 400 of you online, so it's hard to keep track of who's doing what. Uh, and this is a rabbit track. This is a beginner rabbit track called Getting Some Exercise. So yes, even though a month has passed, I am still trying to revamp things here on this channel. So hopefully that it can grow uh, as much, if not more, as how much it grew in 2015. Uh, which was quite a bit, thanks to all you guys. Watching my shows, and hitting that like button, and all them, you know, YouTube thangs uh, that are going on here on this channel. I really appreciate that. Trying to make this a full-time gig, more or less. Uh, or at least making it a full-time gig that actually pays well would be phenomenal because then I could pr provide more content. Believe me, there is so much. There is literally so much PC stuff that I would love to do if I had the PC to do it. Like my my digital games library, as compared to my console game library, like on the PC, like eclipses it by twofold, almost threefold. I have like 700 something games on PC. It is insane. All the indie bundles add up after a while. Uh, and certainly, if I could have a PC that could say, hey, if you have an i7 that could do video encoding properly, uh, then I could certainly just be doing all kinds of PC, crazy-ass PC stuff, and I would love to. Uh, but I'm still I'm still working on this old-ass Core 2 Duo, which is not going to handle that stuff at all. Like, I can do the occasional like indie, small indie game. You know, like I was doing um, some videos on... Lakeview Cabin Collection, which is a great game, uh, but, you know, that's because that game is a 2D indie game. Like, anything that is more higher than that, anything that is more uh, gra graphically demanding than that is not going to be uh, particularly possible. And believe me, I would love to. There is so much just crazy, crazy-ass stuff on the PC, just off-the-wall stuff that would be great. Like... I would, like, right now, just if I could drag in Grim and Doohop and the Twins to do some more Gang Beasts. Obviously, I I own Gang Beasts. I bought it on Steam. Like, I have that early access build of Gang Beasts. Uh, but the thing is, like, doing it on my laptop, not feasible. And bringing over my current desktop, is it's a full-size machine. Not, not really feasible. So I've been waiting on the PS4 version to come out because, obviously, that would be much easier. And obviously I have two controllers, and Grim has two controllers, and then we could go uh, nuts, baby. And if, and if I, if I, bought, if I bought, bought one more, like that, that game's like 8 player, or like something crazy, like 16 player. So I think 8 player is the maximum right now. I'm not actually sure. Uh, and this is a long track of nothing. This is me just pumping them pedals, which is not very entertaining to be honest, so... Probably not going to get a thumbs up, as I don't really have anything else to say. That tree's kind of fucked up over there. I passed that tree. And we just keep, just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling. Where is the end? It's been three minutes. I'm going to get out of this track, because holy shit. And I guess we'll end our looking at very early tracks from people on my friends list with Track Store from Neo Roush uh, that has a bunch of my friends have played it, so that's compelling. And we'll see what Track Store has to offer here uh, with the Pit Viper, obviously. Impale yourself for fun. That, sure, okay. If you say so, if that's how you want me to make things happen, uh, we'll see what we can do here. But, hitting them sick jumps! The sickest. The sickest kid. Oh god, here we go. Here we go with some shit that I probably can't do, because it's fucking difficult. Nope. That's... You gotta really get that right the first time. No, 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 nope. So it's a matter of leaning in the right way when you hit it. And if you don't lean the right, just the right 
it's just the right angle, you're not gonna... There we go, alright, you got that lean, and you're not going full bore on the gas, you're going just enough to completely fuck it up. Just enough to fuck it up, that's, that's good. Yeah, if you go full bore on the gas, it makes you go, uh, backwards, and... If you don't go enough on the gas, same thing. So it's like you gotta really just nail that sweet spot of... Uh, so you get that sweet spot, but don't do too much, and don't do too little, and it's right there. Come on. Uh, there we go. There we go. Hitting that. There we go. Woo! All right, chill boy. Styling and profiling. Oh, I almost broke the bike there. That was good. Haha. -ha. I'm a tax lug. Try and stop me. Oh god, I'm on these balls. These nuts. Got them. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh try to make that little leap there. Nope, didn't work. Nope, didn't work. Let's Yep. There we go. All kinds of interesting uh, obstacles here. Nothing too hard. That that big thing was like the hardest thing was that thing at the beginning. And we do the loop the loop and the monster mash and uh, front flip that shit. Just you know, obstacles for the for the sake of obstacles. No real no real rhyme or reason here. That's okay. But where was the part where I was going to impale myself? Like what happened there? It said impale myself. And I couldn't get to the end there, where there was a guy's name who made the track, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be it for me today. Uh, I'm not so sure. I will thumbs up track score. Or whatever. Uh, I'm level 145. I've been playing this game a lot. For the past couple of years. Uh, anyway. That's it. As you can see here, there are plenty more tracks that are made by my people on, on my friends list. That perhaps I'll get into next week. Perhaps I won't. But if you have a track that you want to see that is in this game, on this show, then leave it down in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do for episode 41. But until then, and until next time, I'm your host, Saxlug. This has been Trials Fusion, Track Central Spotlight, and I will see you next time, right here on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.